Welcome, welcome, welcome to day seven of our Doctor's Sweats appointments. I appreciate you a lot. Uh, before I do anything, let me make sure I cover this legal base. I do not own the rights to any of the music that you hear. I'm only using it for educational and entertainment purposes. So I'm not using it to get money from you. I don't charge to do this, and I never will. All I want you to do is get the most out of it. What you see me holding right here is a waist belt. Just your typical waist belt you can get in any drugstore or uh, a fitness store or anything like that, big sporting goods or something like that. Um, you can even buy it online, they do have them online. And I don't even know which particular brand this is, I've had this so long, I think it's kind of worn off. But you don't necessarily need this today. I'm only going to be using 15s today. And um, you don't have to go really any heavier than that. Something that you can press overhead, but not a lot of times. So whatever you did when we did the light workout, the light dumbbell workout, try to go heavier than that if you can. If not, use what you have. Some other options are flex tubing, um, canned goods, filled bottles like you know Gatorades or, or a couple of water bottles that you can hold in your hand. You can use any of those things. You can use nothing. Okay, you can use nothing. If you know, let, let's just say you're doing a chest press and you know how to, your, your chest should be right, a, a thumb's about nipple level, and you can like really squeeze. If you know how to squeeze those pec muscles or really learn how to do that, learn how to contract your muscles, even when you're doing nothing. Just standing here right now to talk with you, I engage my abdomen a lot so I can say what I need to say. So sometimes when you're standing up talking or exercising, also try to make sure your knees are slightly bent, it takes pressure off your lower back, because a lot of times when you lock your knees, especially in the African American community, we're known to have bigger butts, rounder butts, and that actually puts more pressure on your lower back. So you want to soften those knees ever so slightly, and even kind of like a little pelvic tilt, probably didn't see that because I'm on baggy clothing, but a little pelvic tilt right there is also a good thing from time to time just to minimize back pressure. Now, if you do have a belt, here's how you can put it, like this particular type I have is like double-sided, so what that means is once I go around the waist here and I get that locked in place, it has two more smaller uh, Velcro straps but even more support around here. Hey, he must have lost some weight there. These things are crossing now. That's a good thing. All right. They didn't use to touch. <laughs> so yeah, it, it works. But whenever I'm doing something, the Velcro is, I mean, this, this is easily five, seven, eight years old, something like that. A really good thing when you're, uh, with, when you have this back support on, even when you're in a, what's called like an unsupported position. Knees are slightly bent, and we will do these today, um, high rows and low rows. Uh, we'll do deadlifts today, where you're coming with a flat back, head up, squeezing the butt under, tighten that butt up, shoulders back. Your shoulders should be back all the time anyway when doing this exercise. So even when I come down here with the weight, my head is up, my shoulders are back, and squeeze. Slight knee bend, straighten everything and squeeze. Slight knee bend, straighten everything and squeeze. A lot of people, I see so many bad variations of that, but uh, be careful. Same position with the feet. I haven't changed my footing at all, but you can bring the butt, remember you wanna move your butt first when it comes to squats. Never move your knees first, because that's putting pressure on your knee joint. And if you're older, that's really not a good thing. Younger either, really. Younger you can handle it more, these will be called front squats, and that's primarily to hit the quadriceps. But if you're targeting the hamstrings and glutes and hips more, stick that butt out and sit into it. And then press up. You want to feel that weight back in your heels as much as possible. So before we get started, you can try a few of those, because we will do a little bit of that in the warm-up. We're going to kind of simulate what we do. So if you have a waist belt, you're welcome to use it. You don't have to. I'm not going to use mine during the workout, but believe me, when I'm just driving in a car sometimes, if I'm going long distances, I will wear this uh, just to keep my back support in case it's not enough lumbar support 
in the truck that I have, uh, or car, whatever you have. Um, so start off with some small movements, presses, just pushing the hands forward. So you're kind of squeezing and opening the chest. But remember, when you're opening the chest, you're squeezing the back. So you can actually exhale in both directions. Try touching your wrists together. Watch how it changes. Now you feel more squeeze into the chest and the back. Oh yeah, you can even turn the palms up and go wider. Chest fly. We did these with the weights. Oh yeah, the light weights. We won't be doing these today. Not on. Not. We might do them on the floor. And speaking of the floor, nice segue. Turn the palms down. Same thing. Cross. Cross. One hand on top, then the other. Speaking of segue about the floor, we're gonna save the floor action for last. Okay. We'll do the back standing. We'll do some legs, of course, standing. Biceps, triceps, shoulders, all standing. And then we'll take it to the floor and we'll do some chest and abs with the weights. Oh, yeah. It's Thursday. You might want to get a running start on your weekend in case you do have some plans. Just kind of shake them out a little bit. Let's get the knees going. Crunch it right up the middle. You can even kind of pull your hands down into it like a crunchy. Keep that going. I'm going to keep talking while you're still warming up more. Um, when you are doing these exercises, make sure you are breathing out. Remember this phrase, squeeze and breathe. Squeeze a muscle, exhale. Inhale oxygen into the bloodstream for the next rep. And keep repeating that every time. That kind of breathing is very good for helping you increase your enthusiasm, your, your energy levels, your endurance. Yeah, really that one. When you kind of do the candle blowing type of breathing, for an extended period of time, you start to get lightheaded like you're blowing out a candle or something like that. You don't want to do a lot of that, okay? That decreases your endurance and your enthusiasm and your energy, and next thing you know, you're laying on the floor, wondering why. Uh, because you were breathing incorrectly, okay? Breathe correctly, use that diaphragm. Let's bring it to the heels to the butt, warming those hamstrings up. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really do appreciate everybody who's been chiming in, who's been going on my YouTube channel, D-R-S-W-E-A-T-S. And just to let you guys know, keep this going, I have a guest instructor, or at least one, I'm going to have probably more coming, but a guest instructors will be appearing on my YouTube channel. Uh, one of them is uh, Elizabeth Barrent. We call her Liz B. here at the center. And uh, also Angie Jablonski, both have uh, sent me some videos I need to upload onto my YouTube channel. They just want to be in on helping you. And that's a beautiful thing. Angie does like pretty much everything I do. And then Elizabeth, she's more your, uh, your bar. Go ahead and step touch. It's up to you how wide you want to go. The wider you go with that step touch, the more you warm up the inner thighs, outer thighs, hips and buns. Liz is more your, your bar. Didn't know I had that in me, did you? <laughs> you thought I was all brute and no, uh, no grace? Well, nothing wrong with a little Ronde de Jam in your life, right? <laughs> Don't worry, it comes from the martial arts more than anything. Yoga is a martial art. Bar is an, like an extension of that. So Liz is like a yoga guru, and she's also a, a bar expert, so... Uh, by all means, ballet bar, for those that are wondering what the bar means, B-A-R-R-E. And I want you thinking about drinking, that comes later. All right, so <laughs> go ahead and grab those hand weights. Now, we're going to get the clock started, and we're going to start off with that deadlift that I was showing you. 
This is also a good way to kind of stretch a little bit on the fly, on the slide, if you will. So let me get the clock started. And we're off. Shoulders back, knees are soft, come up and squeeze the butt. Knees are soft, come up, squeeze the butt. I'm taking the weights behind me. Now watch what I do here first. Go to thin, roll, and then the dead left. Lean over, roll, then the dead left. Lean over, roll, then the dead left. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Bring the hands up. Squat it down. Keep it going. It's up to you how fast you go. You can do them slow. You can do them fast. Don't try to keep up with me. Do you. If you can go faster than me, do it. If you can go slower, do that. Underhand curl. Oh, yeah. We like sneaking in a little bit of the biceps anytime. Yes. Your knees should be soft. You have the option to do them both at the same time. Oh yeah. Do one more, then turn over the hands. Clean, press, down, down. Clean, press, down, down. Clean, press, down, down. Oh yeah. One more, bring it down, hold the waist together, right arm, left arm, this is called over one arm, rear fly, you're looking right at me, head up, knees are soft, from a side angle, stay right in that pocket baby, don't let it go, Woo. oh yeah, nice, Hold them together. Bent over row like you're doing a T-bar. Hammer row. Keep them abs tight. Four, three, two. Lean it right and left. Lean right, lean left. Woo. Little love handle action. You don't love them. <laughs> but we can't say hate handles, can we? All that alliteration. Uh huh. Ages, ages, ages. Woo. That's right, alliteration. I said it. I was an English minor. Don't worry about that right now. Left arm only. Bring it behind the head. Triceps. Overhead. Overhead. Come on. Get it. Ah. 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 Fight for it. Ah. I'm kind of glad I didn't have these 20s today. Woo. Maybe next week. Switch arms. Remember, you want 100% extension on that arm. Yeah, baby, come on. Uh huh. One, 
One more, two more, two more, two more, two more. Now bring the hands down. We're gonna close, keep your right foot back, straight down and up. I'm nursing a toe injury. I can only go so low before it feels like it's about to break. You can go down as low as you can. Really come up, squeeze. Just a little release, big squeeze at the top. We're gonna do it for you though. We're gonna keep these going. Switch legs. I can go a little bit deeper on this side. Oh yeah. Really squeeze that butt when you come up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Feel that. Woo! Bring it up. Both of them together. Keep it going, keep it going. We're almost there. Grab your weights. We work. Press. 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 And crunch. Press. And crunch. Press. And crunch. Now. Get it. Keep it going, 
you right there. Do you hear that? 20 exercises, 10 seconds. Wasn't that hard, was it? You know you were getting it done. What's up, Mr. Dish? I see you, Joe Fellini. My girl, a lot of hey, what's up? Appreciate you guys checking in. Hopefully you were doing as much of that as you possibly could. One good thing about the 20 exercises in 10 minutes, no matter what you do, if you're constantly doing it, even for just 10 minutes, 600 seconds, that's all it is, out of your whole day. Your heart rate is elevated, you're still burning calories, and because we were using weight, you're gonna still be burning calories tomorrow from this workout, possibly Saturday from this workout. Why? Cardio is what I call cash. You pay for it, transactions done. Because it's cash, wham, bam, done. Weights are what I call residual income. Because what you do today, what you just did, you're gonna feel tomorrow, the next day, possibly even Sunday. You might feel it all weekend, especially if you do it again. That's just a little hint, okay, just saying. So, march it out, get a little sip of water. I'm gonna change the music, stretch it out, cool you down a little bit. Hopefully you got something out of that. That's the whole idea. Woo, getting as much out of it as you can so that you'll be happy when you're doing it the right way on your own without me. You don't need me all the time, do you? Of course you don't. Do what you can to do what you can. Bears towel here, I'm ready to roll. Yeah, baby, go Bears. <laughs> oh, yeah. What you're hearing right now, my old guys that I used to play with up to about a year and a half ago, the Funk Brothers. Big up to the Funk Brothers. Wish you guys much success in what you're doing. This is something we did a little while ago. Remake of Kim's, uh, K-E-M, Kim. Remake of his uh, Back in My Life. Oh yeah, go ahead and bring this arm across. Stretch it out the upper back and shoulder. Turn that up a little bit so we can get, get some more juice on that. Let me get this other one. This version has more cowbell. <laughs> go ahead and switch arms if you haven't already. Remember guys, whenever you're standing, even if it's just stretching, keep a little play in the knees. Never lock your knees if you can avoid it, okay? Let's get the chest, open that chest up. Oh yeah. Maybe you can kind of point and flex the hands. You can rotate the hands a little bit in both directions. This is all very good exercises if you have carpal tunnel issues. For the internal and external rotators of the shoulder, just kind of rotate the palms over and back. Yeah. Yeah, from here we're gonna bring the back of the hands together. Push down, really round the back, tuck the butt under, bend those knees even more. Really squeeze that butt. Mercy. <laughs> tight now too. And remember guys, if 10 minutes isn't enough for you, you can either do that, do this, do this workout again, or you can do it before or after one or two of the other ones. This is the number of what we're on, six I said, seven, no, number seven. So believe it or not, starting tomorrow, we're back up to the top. What did we do? Uh, Last Friday, which is when this all started, we did body weight standing. So everything we do will be standing up, and it'll be body weight. Yes, I will mix in some kickboxing. Okay? Go ahead and take this nice deep breath. And 
then bring your hands all the way down to a pipe. second by the second four weeks the person closest to your spouse significant other partner heck maybe even your dog or cat might be like eh, something's different about you you do I can tell you doing I can tell what you're doing is working okay and that's this person that's closest to you great to get that kind of <laughs> positive feedback by week 12 of consistency four eight 12. By that 12th week, everybody should be looking at you like, okay, give me your secret. What are you doing? Okay? And we love that as instructors, because, or instructors, trainers, even therapists. We love that because you become our marketing, our advertising. They don't want to know do you work out. They want to know where. They want to know with who. I work out with Dr. Sweat. Boom. 
<laughs> here's, his, here's his YouTube channel, D-R-S-W-E-A-T-S, -S, no spaces, Dr. Sweats. Tell everybody. I work out at the Center of Elgin, centerofelgin.org. Send them there so they can get the schedule when we have classes. Prices on our personal training and massage therapy. All the other things that we have here at the Center of Elgin, outstanding. We have a heritage ballroom just a few doors down from me where I'm standing and downstairs. And um, people have their weddings and bar mitzvahs and receptions and things like that there. So uh, we have conference rooms. We even have church here. Uh, there's a church that congregates here every Sunday. Uh, amazing, love it. So whatever you have, basketball, volleyball, pickleball, racquetball, uh, swimming, we have an adventure, adventure pool for the kids. We have a therapy pool if you got some injuries that you're recovering from. We have a lap pool that you can get your laps in if you're doing like triathlons or uh, like my girl Migdalia Sepulveda. Uh, she's a triathlete. Love that woman, she's doing a lot of great things and hopefully if you, if you don't know her, look her up. She's on my page also, uh, on my Facebook page, not my YouTube channel yet, but we're working on that. Um, and you can get with her, uh, so uh, she can show you all the ins and outs of how to prepare for a triathlon, it's a beautiful thing. Now, I know I'm rambling on, but I'm having a good time. I really enjoy making sure you guys are getting the most out of your workouts. If you have any questions about anything, do not hesitate to contact me, okay, through this, through the YouTube channel, through the Facebook page. Uh, if you have my email, email me. If you don't, if you want to text me, you can text me. Heck, I'll give you my number right now. It's 847-668-1338. I'm not scared. Call me. Text me. 847-668-1338. I seem to have a little bit of free time right now for obvious reasons. And because of that free time that you also may have, Please stay home. Be safe. Okay? The safer we are now, the faster we can get back to hopefully living again. Okay? I always say this, I think it's from a Bon Jovi song that says, Live while you're alive. Greatest statement ever. One of, but not the greatest statement ever. Live while you're alive. Hard to do when you're dead, just saying. So, do what you can to stay safe. Wash those hands, sanitize everything you need to. Uh, try to not to touch your face too much. I don't understand that truly. If, you, if I wash my hands, my face, I should be able to go right to my face after that. But wash your hands first or sanitize them first before going to your face if you can avoid it. Okay? And me, I'm about to go take a real, real, real long shower. And we will see you tomorrow taking it from the top again. Remember, we've been doing seven days, seven totally different formats of exercises. And the whole idea of that, muscle confusion or tricking the muscles, whatever way you want to say it. But we're making sure the body doesn't get used to what we're doing. But we're going to do tomorrow, standing, body weight only. You don't need to bring anything. If you have some really light weights, wrist weights, ankle weights that you can hold, um, or, or some like ones, twos, or threes, probably no higher than three. Um, five if you're really, really, really strong enough to handle it. But don't go any higher than that for the things that we do standing, body weight only tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. Love, health, and happiness to you. All the best to you. Keep it going.